Good day. I'm Bill Beach, the Commissioner of Labor Statistics, and I'm here to talk about October 20th, 2020, which is the date that marks the third celebration of World Statistics Day, an absolute milestone for statistic users and practitioners all over the world. Some of you may be relatively new to the statistical community. Maybe you were uh, taking your first courses in statistics this very year, probably in virtual space. Likewise, others may be fairly well along in a career uh, of statistical science and research. Uh, speaking for myself, I've been working with statistics for 30-something uh, years, maybe even longer, <laughs> going back to my university days. I hardly remember that. To this day, I still find it incredibly exciting, uh, just a, a daily adventure. Whenever you are in your uh, statistical journey, wherever you are, I hope you take some time to appreciate just how wonderful and powerful statistics are. All of us are constantly surrounded by statistics, by data and by measurement. You know, from the gas mileage in your car to the price you pay for a gallon of milk, Data and statistics are literally everywhere, even when we don't notice them. Which is why World Statistics Day is so important. This year's theme is connecting the world with data that we can trust. That really is spot on because it gets to the heart of what BLS and the rest of the US statistical system aim to do each and every day. Build trust through data. I've invited a few friends to talk about BLS and World Statistics Day, but before I pass the baton to them, I, I wanted to say a bit about how we go about maintaining public trust. I'd like to emphasize that we, we do that by sticking to our mission to collect, analyze, and disseminate economic information to help everyone in their decision making. We're able to execute that mission because we are nonpartisan and not political. All politics ends at the front door or ends at your virtual front door. And we foster a spirit of innovation. We're constantly looking for ways to improve everything from data collection methods to estimation techniques. And finally, we're transparent about everything we do. Complete transparency. All of our data releases uh, dates are announced in advance so people know what's coming out. And detail about our methods is widely available in plain language on our website. These are reasons why we are able to consistently contribute to gold standard economic data to decision makers all over the world. It's a real point of pride throughout the Bureau. So now, Let's hear from some fans of BLS. First, I would like to ask, what is your favorite BLS survey or statistic and why? My favorite BLS statistic is that the number of temporary laid off employees decreased to 6.2 million in August, which is down from 18.1 million in April. This is great because it signals that Americans are getting back to work. I'm going to cast my vote for the Occupational Employment Statistics Survey. This survey, with over 400,000 firms a year, provides incredible detail on occupational staffing patterns at the national, state, and local level. It's used extensively for occupational employment projections and also to use to identify good jobs for those without a college degree. Thanks, Mike and Liz. As you can imagine, we have so many more statistics available that cover all aspects of Americans' economic lives. Now, how does the public benefit from national statistics such as those produced at BLS? National statistics like those produced by the Bureau of Labor Statistics are an indispensable way for the public to understand about the nation and the economy. Producing objective, fact-based data and statistics is the best way to create effective policies that can help people and communities. National statistical agencies around the world generate data to inform decision makers from financial districts to lawmakers to our homes. Without government data collection and analysis, we would not have key insights into public health, 
economic trends, community issues, public safety, the environment, or countless other areas that are so important in our world. That's right, John and Wendy. Uh, helping decision makers across the country, whether they are in the U.S. Capitol or our own homes, is really a key component of our mission. Uh, I'm also curious, uh, what do you consider to be the most impressive statistical innovation since the last World Statistics Day in 2015? There have been many important innovations in the statistical system in recent years, but in my opinion, the most important development by far is that in the midst of the COVID-19 disruptions, the statistical system has been able to produce timely, comprehensive, and accurate estimates of GDP, employment, and prices, and many other measures. This has been important for economic policy and for private decision making. It's challenging to pinpoint the single most significant innovation at BLS since 2015. So let me point to the suite of innovations taken to preserve accuracy and relevance and transparency in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. These include switching to additive seasonal adjustments across so many programs, remote collection of data across these programs, changes in the payroll survey birth and death model, new questions added to the current population survey about telework, um, calculation of the impact of misclassifications in the CPS. All of these demonstrate the agility, the professional creativity, and the supreme dedication to public service and the statistical mission that you'll find at the BLS. Thanks, Erica, Richard, and all the BLS supporters who contributed to this celebration of World Statistics Day 2020. They are just a handful of the many people who use our statistics all the time. Okay, so let me conclude by bragging just a bit about the great work of the BLS staff during these unusual times. Uh, in response to the pandemic, we changed our data collection methods to eliminate in-person collection and emphasize phone and internet, and for the first time, video collection. We adjusted the methodology to, uh, that we used to account for rapid and rec absolutely record-breaking changes in the labor market, and we've seen things that no one's ever seen before. Unbelievable. And we're beginning to invest in high-frequency data so that in times of national importance, like those that, we have just, that we're in, we can provide people with as much information as possible. So. Keep an eye out for even more innovation from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And with that, happy World Statistics Day, which on average occurs every five years. Go BLS.